everybody, welcome back to another video. I've got something super special for you guys today. I was scrolling through my Instagram on like my lure account for Omen and I ran across this post of this really cool lure that looked just like a banana, but like really looked like a banana. And you know, with all this like, all this like superstition behind bananas for fishermen, I mean, at least in saltwater, I thought it was gonna be really cool to uh, reach out to him and you know, buy one from him, support his business and uh, film with it. And I've actually been fishing for a couple hours already. I won't spoil anything, um, but I didn't want to film the intro in the morning because we came super early to get the low light and throw the top waters around. But it's actually super awesome. You know, it works super well. It's got like a really nice walk the dog action on it. Here it is. Quick look. I'll put some more of his work up on screen and I'll link his Instagram down below um his instagram name is personal best lures so i figured uh, i'll kind of do like a little mini challenge maybe even a mini series where i go around and try to catch one stud fish in each category so you know one trout over like 20 and one redfish over like 27 and you know one snook over like 28 or something like that or 32 um but yeah so today we're kind of doing the redfish and the uh trout portion of that video but um, enough of me talking. I'll let you guys get into the video. I might throw up some more of his work on screen. But yeah, I'll let you guys watch the action. Oh, dude, it walks great. But it has no noise. You see how like, we can hear yours? Yeah. Like, I'm kind of worried that like I can't hear it. Loki, the way this thing sits so low in the water, Reds might be able to grab it a lot easier. <laughs> They're trying to work. Oh, big wake. Dude, big wake. What is that? Dude, did you see that fish? <laughs> that might be that giant snook I, I had pop off the other day. And these hooks are sharp. He is coming to the boat. Unless it's a tarpon. I've got a spot locked. Am I grabbing the, uh, the net from under me? Sorry, man. I want to move over. Dude, that's like second cast. Oh my God, I don't know what this is, but it's huge. I hope it's not a jack. I don't know, it might be a snook though. I'm feeling rubbing. Good thing I put 50 pound leader on. I was not playing around. I was like, I do not want to lose the banana lure. <laughs> I just want to see him, dude. I caught one on top water yesterday. Really? Wanted to. What? I know, it's super weird. Oh my god, dude. What lure did I catch the other day? Oh. It's, a, it's like a fluke or something. Oh, dude, it's just a big red. Might have knocked out the overslot red. Oh my god! On the banana! <laughs> no way! Yo! It works. It does work. Alright, y'all. Oh my god. I cannot believe. I was a little like skeptical because it had no rattle, but this redfish absolutely clobbered it. I'm gonna go ahead and pop it out. <laughs> Crazy seeing it hang out of its mouth. Get a quick measure. This might be our first fish for like this little challenge that I'm doing. Just looking to see. Let's see. He is 30, 29, 28, 27. He's a tournament fish, 26 and a half. A stud redfish, but we're looking for one over slot. So we're gonna keep fishing. But I'm gonna go ahead and pop it out, get a nice little release on him. Oh no, it's good. There we go. Whew. Yes. Thanks, man. Yeah, man. I appreciate you. Oh, dude, you got a swirl. Keep going. Keep going. Pretty sure, at least. Yeah, I'm getting a swirl, too. Dude, there's got it. Oh, my God. I don't know how mine popped off, but we both got swirled on. There's something here. Oh. <laughs> Did you see him take air to eat it? Yeah, I think that's a trout. Yeah. Yeah, it is. 
I've got this one. All right, guys, we are two thirds of the way through the slam with the banana. This is going really good. I don't think this is a gator trout, so he's not gonna count for what I'm doing, but he is a nice trout nonetheless. Get a grip on, he's a fat trout. There he goes. I've never seen a trout blast a topwater so hard that like he flew out of the water with it all the way. That was so weird. <laughs> Thought it was a ladyfish, and I was like, are you kidding? I'm getting hit. Oh, come on. Oh my god, come on. It's going crazy, whatever it is. Yeah. Oh, dude, that might be the one. That might be the one. All right, all right, all right, he threw it. Well guys, that might have been the one that was over 18, but I honestly, instead of just doing a regular gator trout, let's let's shoot for one in the in the 20s at least. But is that on your bait? Well, I wasn't even looking, boys. <laughs> I was trying to see if Seth was getting a follow-up, and this might be a nice fish. I don't know. If it's a trout, though, it's a 30-incher. <laughs> Hoping it's a snook, cause that would be the slam. I can't tell, I think I saw orange. Might just be a big red. Yeah. The problem is though, snook, when the sun shines through like their fins, it looks orange, so. Just cause they're in this like stained water. I don't know. Dude, it might be a snook, no way. No, it's a, it's a red. I got you bro, don't worry. You can keep fishing, they're, they're biting. Should be able to get them. Yeah, he tried to get it good. Got him a little weird though. Hopefully he'll be okay. That's another stud though. I mean, he's at least like 25. Get the hooks out, get a check on. He's on zero. Twenty-seven. Officially the first over slot on it. All right, it's out. Nice release on him, he is ready to go. There you go, bud. Healthy fish, though, all around. Well, they're still here. I think that's a trout, to be honest. Oh, let it go. It's okay. I'm gonna toss them back in, anyways. Oh, dude, big red on it, big red, big red on it. Dude, he's right there, he's right there. He's huge. He's looking for it. He doesn't know we're here. Could you imagine?
Dude, did you see him? Oh, I don't even know if the camera can get that, but that was a big red. All right, y'all. He got it on the uh, pinfish color ultra swimmer that I made, I think last week. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Seth is officially on the board with some omen baits. I've never actually had chicken from KFC. Actually, that's a lie. What? I, think, I think I did one time. No, dude. You're joking. An osprey just grabbed the... Oh my god. Let go of it. Oh, I hate when birds do this, dude. God damn it. Come here, bud. I don't know. This is going to be interesting. I don't even know what type of bird this is. Dude, I'm trying to help you. Dude, he's got, oh my god, it is an osprey. Dude, look at those talons. Holy shit. The grips would have truly made this a lot easier, you know? But. Yes, okay. Okay. Oh, oh bless. Oh, all right, y'all. That was terrible. I mean, <laughs> that guy did not want anything to do with me. I didn't want anything to do with him. Just trying to get my lure back and, you know, make sure he didn't fly off with his legs, you know, permanently attached to each other. Um, at least he's okay and I've got the lure, but unfortunately, we didn't find those grips. So I feel bad that, like, that plastic kind of went into the ocean, but at least they float and I think they're going to drift into the grass and get stuck on land. Um, you know, we looked, can't find them. So we're just going to keep fishing. Just unfortunate, but figured I'd let you guys know how that ended. Gonna end up just getting nagged on one of those little rocks. We're gonna have to go back and get it. Oh my God. Did you hear that? He's got it. He's got him. A lot of head shakes. That might be a snow. Dude, the head shakes are crazy. What is this thing? Watch out, watch out, watch out. Oh, that's a big red. That's another nice red, boys. Absolutely clobbered the banana. Yeah. Oh, dude, he, he he stuffed it down his mouth. Just put these down so I don't knock them in. Oh. <laughs> he is angry. Dude, look how perfectly in it, like, he's, he choked it. Like, he choked it. Oh. Guys, check that out. Big old red. Like the third or fourth one of the day. Just chopped down on it. All right, y'all. He crushed it. Absolutely choked it down. I don't know if you guys can see that in there. But um, I'm going to have to try and get it out quick. So hopefully he can just healthily swim off um that is actually that's an in slot fish worst case scenario i don't like keeping fish but if he if he's not gonna make it i will keep him because i don't want him to die for no reason um 29 20 actually uh, i don't know guys he's like right over actually so i'm gonna try and get this out quick give him a nice revive and just hope he uh kicks off well but okay top hook is out the problem's this one it's like way okay the hooks oh perfect okay let's go let's see if i can oh okay i guess nice Woo. sick dude we've caught almost nothing but overslot reds yeah isn't that kind of wild 
like they've all been like 26 and a half like right on 27 or like over 27 you know yeah Do you feel like a like something ate it, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, something definitely ate it. I was about to say. Oh dang, that looked like something. Oh, I'm down. That was the weirdest eat ever. It, like came and got it like under the surf. Oh. What the heck. How did I know? That was such a loud eat, but he's not that big. He's probably like right on like 16 or 18, but at least that's what he looked like. I don't know, he might be getting a little better. Ah, there it is, boys. Banana, another redfish. It's like number five or six. Well, guys, I uh, went to uh, start the boat up to move to a new spot, and it won't start. You know, if you guys have been following the channel, I've had my fair, sh my fair share of problems with this outboard um, pretty much since like the start of the summer, late springish. Uh, I had an issue with one of my cylinders, um, and since then, it kind of just has gone downhill I mean it was working good enough to use but I think it's just kind of at the end of its life at least I mean with me I don't have any patience for it anymore to be honest it's not worth pouring money into it to fix because it's an old outboard um, so hopefully I'll be able to figure something out pretty quickly to you know keep pumping out fishing videos for you guys I'll still film like videos you know maybe it's just gonna be me talking about like advice like on where to go how to fish what lures colors etc um, but yeah, just wanted to give you guys an update, but I am going to continue this series, hopefully with a <laughs> more reliable motor next time. Um, but yeah, but yeah, as always, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I had a great time throwing this lure. Um, I'll have his information linked down below again, really talented lure maker, you know, I absolutely love the banana lure. So it's having a lot of fun throwing it, but yeah, anyways. As always, um, hope you guys liked the video. Go ahead and uh, drop me a like or a comment if you guys want to. But uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.